My name is Kanchan Sharma. I'm faculty of science in Biani Group of Colleges. Today we are going to discuss the topic operon model. Operon model was proposed by Jacob and Munad in 1961. They discovered operon in Escherichia coli, which is a bacteria and is a prokaryote, basically. Now, I would like to explain you with the diagram the operon model. Operon model have four kinds of genes. The first gene is enhancer. It may present anywhere in the genome. It means it is not necessary that it always get attached with the operon. If in the genome enhancer is present, then it increases the activity of operon several times. Now next, we are having the regulatory gene. The regulatory gene secretes regulatory proteins. There are two kinds of regulatory proteins. One is the activator and another one is the repressor. If the regulatory gene secretes activator proteins, it means it will always help in turning on the operon. While if the regulatory gene secretes the repressor protein, it will always help in turning off the operon. Next, we are having two control elements. Their name are promoter and operator. Promoter is basically RNA polymerase binding site, whereas the operator, there Oper are two genes in the control elements. One is promoter, whereas another is operator. Promoter is basically RNA polymerase binding site. It means the RNA polymerase attaches here and I would like to quote that when RNA polymerase attaches, only after that the transcription process starts and the hormone and enzymes are made. Next is operator. On operator, the regulatory proteins that is either activator or repressor, they attaches here. So basically this is regulatory protein binding site. Next we are having the structural genes. Structural genes, the number of structural genes may vary. It may vary from 3 to 5 or more than this. In lac operon, we have three structural genes that is Z, Y and A. Here I am just showing you as a line that it may vary in the number. As the RNA polymerase attached on the promoter and regulatory protein attached on the operator, the process of central dogma starts. Now I would like to tell you about the central dogma in brief. Central dogma was proposed by Crick. According to central dogma, we have several genes in our DNA. They transcribe and make mRNA. The mRNA translates and make amino acid or proteins. These amino acid and proteins goes under post-translational changes and form enzyme and hormones. Our entire metabolism is based on enzymes and hormone. So that's all about the central dogma, the operon model. Hope my lecture benefited you. Thanks a lot. And for more details, kindly log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you so much.